Hey Bears, Eric here. I wasn't going to do a video today because it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Uh, had a lot of plans today, but this video came to my attention. Uh, Melanie Mack, famous hater, famous person for using the F slur, um, has been once again banned from Twitch. I can only imagine why. Um, probably because she keeps breaking TOS. But I'm sure she'll make some excuses for it. Anyway, I've got this pitched up to one, two, five. Um, we're gonna watch it and uh, debunk a lot of the dumb stuff that she says because she's known for doing or saying really dumb things. Here we go. So, hello from my car. I know you guys like these car videos sometimes. I did get banned from Twitch again. My quality is. Uh oh, I'm, I'm making smudges on this. I did get banned from Twitch again. You could have just like stopped it and started it over again. <sighs> okay. For my last Go Boom Live, quite frankly, I'm surprised it took that long because I was was three episodes, so three weeks of streaming my new Go Boom Live show. I wonder why you were surprised. Is it because you know that you're breaking TOS? You know that you're violating the agreement that you enter into when you use a platform to stream on it. But you literally agree to those terms. We all do for using these platforms. So when we break the terms, uh, we know we're breaking them, usually. And I thought after the first episode, I told everyone in chat, like I'm multi streaming to, to YouTube, to the platform that rhymes with Fumble, but starts with an R. I can't say this on freaking YouTube. They will throttle your videos for saying that one. Well, they, a lot of people stream to that site as well. A lot of really prominent YouTubers use a lot of other sites. I haven't heard that before. Let me know in the chat if you guys know anything about that, about throttling for advertising another platform. I'd, I'd never heard of that. ...of their competitor, which I do suggest you follow me there. Because uh, it's only a matter of time before YouTube tries to make my account in anyway. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I streamed there, and then I was just like, oh, why not just stream on Twitch as well until I can't, because I've already been suspended for by Twitch before for 14 days. And for the uninformed, that was because I was talking about, you know, I'm a Christian, for those of you who know that, who don't know that. For those of us that don't know, <laughs> in what world would we exist in with Melanie Mack and not knowing that she's a Christian? I mean, it is literally the biggest thing you talk about you have an entire channel or at least you had an entire channel dedicated to reading bible verses uh i would say it's pretty apparent that you're a christian to anyone who's encountered almost any of your videos and i was talking about something i felt on my heart and uh to talk about regarding the whole lgbt movement all that kind of stuff and how people have made sexuality an identity, a personality trait, and the whole concept of sexuality that doesn't even really exist. They made it a thing that doesn't, that, that isn't a thing. There is. Wait a minute. Hold on. That was a lot of like, a lot of uh, what brain rot spitting going on there. First of all, um, it's kind of odd that you would say that like gay people or queer people or trans people, whatever, make their entire sexuality or whatever their identity when you are literally known for being the person that uses the F slur. There's a lot of identity things that happen online that may or may not have anything to do with the person themselves. Like you could be mean for something and all of a sudden you're known as the girl that went to the hospital for eating butter. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how it is. So your perception of what somebody's identity is, is not their responsibility. I am not responsible for what other people think my identity is online for how they perceive me online. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, and it's not a made up thing. These aren't made up things. Do you think people made up being gay? Do you think that that is a fictional thing that doesn't happen? Because if it is, then why are you so adamantly against it? If it's not real, if it's not like, what am I going to start a campaign to, uh, to delegitimize unicorns? Because they're mythical? Is that is gay people are mythical now? Identities of queer people are mythical now? This she is so utterly stupid. It's painful. Is God's design, there is just the biological standard, and there is everything else that is it's always funny to me when somebody talks about God's design and then also talks about biology. 
that's that's always makes me giggle a little bit. Uh, by the way, um, people that are not Christian don't don't have to care about what you think in regards to their life based on what God says. It's irrelevant. It's absolutely irrelevant. You don't know what somebody else's religion is. And if their religion is not your religion and you start injecting your religion on their life, then you were trying to oppress them based on religion. It's not cool. Is in this case sin or kink. If you really break it down, it's kink. So everybody who's Oh, you mean like your Christian kink? Oh yeah, you, it's a it's a Christian kink for you now. Melanie, you are you have a kink for Christianity. And you can't tell me otherwise. It's all made up. It's all made up stuff. So I can just say whatever I want about it, right? Just trying to, you know, I'm not going to force my beliefs on anybody. So live however you want to live, bloody da. As long as you're freaking leaving kids alone. But that's a dog whistle. Um, she keeps saying it because she's stupid, just like the other people that say that. Uh, there's no mass movement when it comes to anything uh, with kids, but they keep using it because it's sort of like, what about the children? It is. It's. It's a known fallacy. It's a known argument made by people who try to oppress marginalized communities. It, it just is. At the end of the day, let's not pretend that this is some identity and that you put your whole identity in it. I mean, it's. So if it's not an identity, how can you put your identity in it? God, you're so, so stupid. If you were saying that somebody's entire identity is their sexuality, but then in the same breath, you're like, but it's not a real identity. How is that even? This can only make sense to her and her brain dead minions. A, it's a kink. That's that's the extent of it. That's what it is. But a kink could still be an identity, Melanie. You keep saying it's not real. It absolutely could be real. Even if it were a kink, it could still be someone's identity online if somebody perceives them to be all about that thing. And we've gotten to the point where people are making it their identity or pretending like it's, oh, this is just how you are, just like being black, just like being Asian, just like being white, whatever. And so I said that and got suspended for two weeks from Twitch. When I doubt very seriously that's what you said. I doubt very seriously you were that vague about what you said. I highly, highly doubt that. It was this like a couple months or so ago. And then I just saw their, uh, my favorite, one of my, well, probably my favorite pastor that I like to watch online is. So were you suggesting that because you are a Christian, you said it earlier in this video, I just thought about this, that because you're a Christian, you should be allowed to violate TOS because you're speaking what's on your heart. This is the kind of stuff that annoys me when it comes to any weaponized religious belief when you think that you should just be allowed to get away with stuff and that supersedes any guidelines on a website or anybody else's uh personal freedoms that is when it becomes weaponized and it and it's absolutely wrong oh it's just like these black oh, just like black people used to be slaves we're oppressed because of how we were born in this we don't even have to do that we don't even have to go back that far how you are acting right now towards queer people means that i don't even have to use that analogy. I don't even have to make that comparison. The way you are acting towards queer people does represent a portion of your community. That is oppression. You are being bigoted and prejudiced against queer people based on your personal beliefs. That is oppressive behavior, especially when queer people are a more marginalized group. So we don't even have to use the comparison about racism and i'm sick of it and so many people have been brainwashed by society by this ideology that is really ironic people have been brainwashed yeah there's a mirror in that car there's probably more than one if it's street legal uh you should take a look at yourself when you say that to where saying these things sounds outrageous to them or sounds hateful to them but it's real but it is hateful it doesn't matter. Something can mean two things. You can be, quote unquote, speaking your truth, and your truth can also be hateful. And we're all adults here. We know better. I mean, I think you're pretty stupid, but that would make you extremely stupid. Uh, more stupid than I actually think you are. Reality. It is just, and, and by doing these things, by changing terms, by changing definitions, by changing words to try to soften the blow on this, 
or to try to soften what the actual situation is and the gravity of it. In this case, it's kink. Okay, so, oh, we want to make it into an idea. But it doesn't matter. We are adult people. We have a freedom in this country. We can do whatever the fuck we want when it comes to our personal lives. You are suggesting that you and people in your group should have the say-so over how other groups live their lives. Do you understand why that is a problem, Melanie? Identity instead, because then that makes them a protected class, those who are participating in those activities. And so then, oh, they're so protected that they go, you can't even criticize. So you don't want marginalized groups to be protected classes. So you're arguing that you, it's like you, God, it's just so it's like trying to analyze someone that has a major malfunction in their life. Someone that there, something is not connecting, like, like all the gears are not firing here. Okay. That's the issue we have. You literally do not even understand what you are talking about. You have let people feed you all of this stuff and you just regurgitate it. And you're struggling in this video to explain your position because you don't even understand why you hold this position. You sound to me like someone that is just going with what other people have told you. You, you don't sound like it's a conviction to me. It, it feels very, for lack of better words, fake. You can't even state biblical fact. You can't even state biological fact without being deplatformed on online, on these platforms. Because you are saying things that violate their terms of service. It really is that simple. It really is that simple. There's the fact that you are arguing this when at the beginning of this video, you understood that you could probably be banned for what you're doing tells me that you know you are breaking the rules. So spare me with this like, oh, I'm being persecuted here. You know this. You already know it platforms and yeah so that's where we're at so twitch has suspended me for 14 days for this i don't care twitch wasn't even my main platform anyway no. you do care you do care let me tell you why because you're so transparent and, and i'm gonna explain this to all the melanie mac fans that stumble on this video she wants to be a martyr if twitch is not her main platform and she does not care about twitch she could just leave twitch and stop using it knowing that she does not like their terms of service. She doesn't like their guidelines. She doesn't like their policies and rules. She could walk away from it. However, that would mean that she could not get on camera every time she is banned and make a big deal out of it. Every time she gets banned on something, she makes a video about it. She wants that. This is the reaction she wants from them. This is what she wants Twitch to do. She wants Twitch to ban her and block her and suspend her. So then she can be a martyr for Christianity. This is what, this is the whole goal. She's going to keep pushing their buttons until they actually have to kick her off the platform. And then she will scream and cry about that as well. That's the game. It's a tale as old as time. Not even close. I don't give a crap. You Meanwhile, do. Twitch has just become a cam girl site. Essentially, that is the only thing keeping them remotely afloat. And they're not even. Then why are you on there? If, if you're upset that they're doing cam girls, which would obviously go against your Christian beliefs, then why are you using that site? Oh, that's right. You want to get kicked off so you can uh, griff your viewers. They're struggling. Uh, so I don't give a crap, but whenever those two weeks are up and I start streaming there again, they're just going to ban me again. Next time, make it permanent. What's taking you so long? So anyway, I don't know. This is why So, I mean, maybe I'm giving her too much credit. Maybe she's just stupid and that's why she keeps going back. But it just made me think back on one thing a lot of people know about me and what I joke around about online and stuff is I, I am the F slur lady. I can't say it on YouTube. I could on the, the other app or the other platform. But So, yeah, I mean, and that is not uh, an identity you chose for yourself. That's an identity that people assign to you. Um, and it's essentially it's not even like a sexuality or gender. It is just a thing. But that is what people know you as. That is your identity for a lot of people. But you're, again, you're not firing on all cylinders, so you're not even putting two and two together. Until I'm, until I'm possibly exclusive there, I can't. So um, I'm known as the Epsler lady because I say that word a lot, and some people get really mad about it. And even Yeah, because some people have experienced trauma associated with that slur.
That's why. When people have traumatic experiences with abusive language, it can be a trigger for them. And if you did give a shit about other people in any regard, you would not use it against other people because you would go, hey, maybe that's not very Christian-like to antagonize people out of spite. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that because that's probably not something that the Bible would want me to do. Even other people who say they're Christians, they get really, they're like, oh, why would you do that? Oh, it's so hateful. Oh, it's so this, it's so that. I mean, I don't understand. That is playing in. And if you don't understand, you're just an idiot. You're just a stupid idiot if you don't understand. I think you do understand, again, even though I think you're a pretty stupid person. I do think you understand. But if you truly don't, then that's another level of idiocy that is beyond my comprehension. To, or you're downplaying what's actually going on with this stuff. You can't even, and first of all, and when I do say that, I don't say anything out of hate. I don't call people names out of hate. Well, then why are you saying it? What is your incentive? What is your incentive to say it if you're not saying it out of hate? What would be your incentive to say that to people if you know that it hurts them? If it were not for hate, it's not for love. It's definitely not for that. So it, that you're lying. You're basically lying here. A very, very rare occurrence for me to do that because I just don't feel right in doing so. So it's normally just joking around, lighthearted banter, this and that, maybe joking. Yeah, it's not a lighthearted word to throw around. And it's one of the slurs that I've seen you use quite often. I don't know if you use other slurs regularly. Um, but I would say if you're willing to use one, you're probably using the others. Maybe just not in front of other people about some celebrities or something uh, so there's that first of all but second of all by making a word like that forbidden you are likening it to other words that are like oh, okay well this word is meant to uh, insult someone based on their race for example whenever they compare something like that it's not because it is a slur it is a word used against an entire community of people it doesn't matter to if it's exactly the same as racism also, believe it or not, there are probably people using those platforms that are from these communities. And these websites are like, hey, we want to make sure that people that are using our site feel safe coming onto our site so they're not going to be harassed by Christian women with tattoos and judgmental tendencies who eat butter. They're probably like, we need to make sure that random people just living their lives and using our service do not have this person out there coming for them and bleeding over into their content by being a bigoted idiot. That's why those rules exist. It's, it's not just about the whole slur thing. It's about making sure that people on that site are not like, I would never use the other site you've mentioned because I know it's not a place that I would go and feel comfortable streaming at. But I would use Twitch because Twitch actually does have uh, guidelines in place for that. See? See how that works? That's why they do it. And, you know, there's obviously a whole other discussion to be had about how we shouldn't be censored at all and how words shouldn't be off limits. And I get that. Okay, so if people shouldn't be censored at all, then why are you advocating for, for the differences, the subtle nuanced differences between a slur used towards somebody's gender or sexuality versus somebody's race? If censorship is something that you just don't agree with at all, and you think that no word should be off the table, then just start saying them all. This is the thing that bugs me. It's like if you're if you're anti-censorship and you're and you're such a big person and you're not going to be held down by societal norms uh, because it goes against your beliefs, then just use the word, just use them all. Why pick and choose? D don't censor anything then. But just for the sake of this conversation, okay, let's just say something like the F slur. These homophobic slurs, that is not the same. People who are, if, if they want to argue. It doesn't matter if it's the same. It does not matter. It's like if, if a website is trying to once again welcome people into their site, if a slur is used against a community for any reason at all, they would not allow that on their site. It's just that simple doesn't matter if they're the same or not in your opinion about racist things about racism and stuff like that uh, they want to debate about that and how okay this is mean to say don't compare don't compare the whole alphabet ideology to what's going on with with uh talking about how, how we talk about people of different races um including you are struggling to get through this because you truly truly know 
that you're just bigoted. Like the, I'm getting the vibe here that you just are. Now I know there were some tweets from you a while back where you were like standing up for queer people or whatever. I truly believe based on this clip that you are just bigoted and you're trying your best to sort of tiptoe and dance around it in a way that does not make you seem that way. Just come out and say it. You either, you either are or you're not. And trying to talk about the subtle nuances between why a slur is different from race to sexuality, like it serves no purpose. There's no conversation to be had there unless you're a bigot. It's, it's just a slur. Like, I don't, there's, there's no difference society-wise for a slur to be acceptable simply because it isn't the same as a racist slur. What kind of idiocy is this? White people, this, any, any race, right? It's not the same thing. It's not even close to the same thing. It's a different thing. Okay. Who cares? So stop trying to play victim. Stop trying to make your kink. Who's playing a victim here? You're making a whole video crying about being suppressed by Twitch. Because you broke the rules but somehow you're the victim of censorship. You're the one doing that, Melanie. Your identity, do whatever the crap you want to do. If you're not going to, to I just don't want to see it. So that is, that's homophobia. Point blank period. That is homophobia. I'm very specific now when I talk about this, she was sort of tiptoeing around it in this video, but saying you can do whatever you want, but I don't want to see it. That is oppressive language and it is homophobic. That is a homophobic statement because you're saying that people should not have the same freedoms as you because you don't want to see it. That is an unreasonable expectation. And I am allowed to disagree with it. It is against my religion and it's also against basic biology and no, it's not. It's not. There's a lot of, um, I mean, even having this conversation about animals and people is is reductive, but there are cases of homosexuality in the animal community. There just are. And it doesn't matter. We're people. We can choose to do what we want with our lives. Like, are tattoos biological? Is makeup biological? Are, is writing in a car biological? Is using a a telephone to record a video to put on YouTube, biological? No, none of those things are biological, but you're doing those things. You're using the tools because you want to, because you're able to. So arguing that other people should not be allowed to do things with their lives because it's not biological is a really dumb fucking argument considering the circumstances that we all live in. And the betterment of society and humanity in general. And it You don't know that. That's a that's again another big statement. It goes against the betterment of people's personal health. That's a whole other, like, I'm not going to take health advice from you. You've ended up in the hospital for dehydration and eating butter. So I'm not going to even engage you on topics about health. Just shut the fuck up about that. Or a time before YouTube, unless they get their act together and realize, hey, if we start silencing people from differing, differing views and deep platform. You just said a minute ago that you don't want to see gay people. And now you're arguing about being silenced and being deplatformed when you just said that that's what you would like for gay people. Fuck. Performing people we're going to lose to other platforms that are free speech platforms, you know, unless they wake up to that, then it's only a matter of time before YouTube tries to deplatform me as well. So I would love to see you guys follow and support me on the actual free speech platform. No, we're going to stop there. Um, here's the thing. It's very clear. I'm not a fan of Melanie Mac. I haven't been, for quite a while. And I try to avoid her content because I know that she's just going to say dumb stuff. I mean, when I talk about people here on YouTube and we've argued about all kinds of like grift tubers and stuff like that, when I talk about them, I do so knowing full well that most of them are very aware of what they're doing to get views, to get clicks, to get people coming back. And a lot of them are very charming and they're capable of holding their audience that way. Melanie Mack is someone who I think, and there's a very small pool of people like this in the, uh, the Griff tube spear, Melanie Mack, I believe, and I say this without shame. She is one of the dumbest grifters on the internet in this space. She's aligned herself with a few people. She gets schooled a lot over the stuff she says because she does not use proper sources. She says a lot of dumb stuff, like in this video, with literally no backing up for it. She tries to 
align everybody else's behavior based on her own Christianity. And then in this video, she admits that she's like, I don't care what you do as long as I don't have to see it, but then argues about being censored and deplatformed. That is idiocy. Idiocy, stupidity, cognitive dissonance, all of the above. And every time I'm like, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, it literally comes back to the fact that I think she's just really dumb. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below. But Melanie, if you don't want to get deplatformed, stop breaking the rules. It's very clear. You know that you're breaking the rules. It's a very simple fix. Just don't break them and you won't get deplatformed. It's it's really that simple.